a little something from a brilliant brother named Ali Abu Talib. Listen, mere Islamic identity is not a get out of hell free ticket. If a person claims Islam, and his deeds are wrong and wicked, God will not reward him as one who submitted to his bans and commands. Islam demands, deeds, to match Islam's creeds. But like some Christians who are Christ-like in words but not in deeds, some Muslims fail to match their deeds with their Islamic creeds, the love of self, the love of wealth. A love that drives a soul to stealth. Making war to steal their land, though they are us, our fellow man, ethnocentrified pride magnified by killing one's foe. The inferior race brought low. Forgetting God in the winning. Egos grinning while overspending to build palatial places of worship that won't stop folks from sinning. A generation of fools, heads spinning on cruths. Winners who lose. Big-headed beginners who are dead wrong but think they too good to improve. The road to perdition becomes a tribal tradition, until a cursed egocentric, tribal, national, or elitist condition is seen as unquestionably right, for which fooled folks will fight till bright minds probe into the site, and discover their plight, and get their folks to admit that their cultural right was a spiritual blight, until then, folks will claim to worship God while following Pharaoh into the sea, where divine guidance is drowned in foolish ethnic grandiosity disguised as religiosity. This much is clear. The Muslim world's no different from any other religious sphere in the sense that foolish folks label sinners as saints, because historians write with government-sponsored bloody paints. But God knows who really are the winners. The king with prophets usurped flag flying from his lance, killed and maimed, and raped and stole, while held in power's trance. Secular minds who free to act without religion butting in, think all is fair in love and war, as long as their folks win. They think the truth is relative and there's no such thing as sin. But neither king nor citizen can claim to know God's will. But prophet did, and we believe his way is God's will still. Complete submission to the one, who has no father, ghost or son. Jesus was a God-sent star, a brilliant shining sun, whose light warms souls with faith and love. For the ever-present one, secular minds who are free to act without religion butting in, think all is fair in love and war, as long as their folks win. They think the truth is relative and there's no such thing as sin. But neither king nor citizen can claim to know God's will. But prophet did, and we believe his way is God's will still. Complete submission to the one, who has no father, ghost or son. Jesus was a God-sent star, a brilliant shining sun, whose light warms souls with faith and love. For the ever-present one, once again, that was Ali Abu Talib. Salam.